Here are 10 facts you probably didn't know about Squirtle. Did you know Squirtle is the most common starter for the main characters in the anime? There are four main characters that have a Squirtle on their team. Did you know Squirtle was Ash Ketchum's first choice of a Pokemon? Ash accidentally broke his alarm clock, leading him to sleep in and miss the ceremony. Therefore, he was given Pikachu and miss his opportunity to pick Squirtle. Did you know Squirtle is the best Pokemon to pick in the original games? Compared to the other starters, Squirtle has a clear advantage. Squirtle has the advantage against 42 gyms, Bulbasaur has the advantage in 36, and Charmander only has 15. Did you know Squirtle is named after money in Japan? Squirtle's name in Japan is Zenny Game. Zenny means money and game means turtle. Did you know when Squirtles are born they have a soft shell? Just like real turtles in real life. So when you hatch a baby Squirtle be sure to be extra careful. Did you know Squirtle was created by Asuko Nishida? She was also responsible for designing Pokemon like Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Pikachu. Did you know Squirtle can mega evolve into two forms? The first being Gigantamax Blastoise and the second being Mega Blastoids. Did you know Ash's Squirtle was introduced in the 12th episode of the anime? In this episode, you are introduced to the Squirtle Squad, a group of abandoned Squirtles left behind by their trainers. These mischievous Squirtles are easily identified by their black sunglasses. Did you know Squirtle's shell minimizes water resistance, allowing him to swim faster? It also acts as a shelter, and he can hide inside when he's in danger. Did you know Squirtle can live for a very long time? In a Pokédex entry, it states that the evolutionary line can live up to 10,000 years. When they get that old, they have algae growing on the outside of their shells. That algae signifies how old they really are. Thank you for watching this Pokémon fact video. Comment down below what Pokémon you would like to see next, and I'll see you again next week.